Obrigada. Também muito obrigada. Maria de Belém was the first woman to preside over Portugal's Socialist Party between 2011 and 2014, but she's not its official candidate for the presidential election. It's no surprise as she backed the rival of the current PS secretary, Antonia Costa, who told socialists to vote for her or for the independent candidate, Antonia Sampao de Novoa. I've always said that I agree with that position because that underlines the independence of the candidacies as an act of citizenship, so it's very peaceful. But she has the support of some socialist members like the current culture minister, Joao Suarez, son of the former president, but his father is behind another candidate. You're the right person. You have my vote. The priority is to invest in the prestige of the country. I think it's absolutely essential to do so, and one of the weapons we have to achieve this objective is scientific diplomacy. We have to show the big strides we've made in the fields of science and research. That's fundamental to being recognized and to earn the respect of those observing us from abroad. Concerning international relations, Maria de Belen promises to defend the interests of Portugal in the European Union she accuses of having forgotten some of its founding principles. I think it's absolutely essential to have a strong voice in order to uphold the principles of solidarity, the social market economy, to reduce inequalities. Nowadays, much of the original European project has been forgotten, and we need to properly defend the interests of Portugal. On the domestic front, she wants to defend those without a voice and promote equal pay for men and women. I want to call on civil society to support these causes, because of course they must be integrated in a competent and effective public policy program. But in addition to public policies, each one of us has a responsibility to intervene. Social intervention has always been a priority for Maria de Belen. The former Health and Equality Minister is also very concerned about the situation of Portuguese people, who have been facing strong austerity measures, she says. We have a very divided society. It's fractured and there's a lack of social cohesion. When that happens, there's a lack of everything else. Social issues are the main concern for Maria de Belen and she's been trying to demonstrate that on the campaign trail.